There are a lot of villains in the Marvel Universe, but out of all of them, who is the most powerful? Born thousands of years ago in ancient Egypt, he is considered by many to be the first mutant ever. Apocalypse has evolved several times during his lifetime. He has gained several powers throughout centuries of him doing this. His original power was the ability to control his own molecular structure, which was later amplified by celestial armor. Apocalypse possesses incredible amounts of durability, and even before his powers were amplified by the celestial armor, he was immortal and lived for thousands of years. Apocalypse can survive a point-blank optic blast from Cyclops and an all-out attack from X-Factor and the Inhumans. Apocalypse possesses superhuman strength and speed. He's been able to catch Quicksilver while he was running and headbutted Thor so hard that he sent him flying for miles. His main power is the ability to control his molecular structure. This lets him do simple things like grow additional arms or more complex things like regrow his entire body from a single drop of blood. Victor's parents both died when he was only a small child. His mother died because of a deal gone wrong with Mephisto and his father died trying to save him from the cold. Victor set out to increase his knowledge in both science and magic. This would lead him to the Hickman University in New York and later to increase his magical knowledge, he would travel to Tibet. So what powers does Dr. Doom possess? Well, he's one of the world's most powerful magic users. He's traveled through time and the world to learn its secrets. Some of his more powerful spells include one that sends people back in time, a spell that summons a bunch of monsters, and a spell that lets him change the weather. Victor is a genius, he's created some pretty awesome gear to increase his power, like his suit of armor, which gives him super strength and durability. With his bare hands, he's been able to destroy Diamond. This isn't Doom at his strongest, that would be God Emperor Doom, who is so powerful he's defeated Thanos and Apocalypse. Mephisto is an interdimensional demon who rules a dimension called Hell. He's extremely powerful and gifted in the secret arts of magic. He's been shown defeating Doctor Strange, Loki and Doctor Doom, who are all powerful magic users in their own right. His strength and durability are almost as good as his magical abilities. He's been shown surviving an antimatter bomb by Doctor Doom, blast from the Silver Surfer, and hits by Thor. As for his strength, well, he's been shown to be as strong as Thor, and he once knocked out Chi-Hulk with a single punch. One of Thor's most powerful and dangerous villains, Gore seeks out to eliminate all the gods in the multiverse. Gore naturally doesn't have any powers, but because of the all-black necro sword, he has godlike strength. He's overpowered a young Thor and managed to keep a bloodless Thor at bay. Gore has great durability. He survived hits from Thor which were strong enough to send him into a moon. He survived a point-blank god blast and can regenerate lost limbs. Gore can manipulate the darkness and create simple things from it like swords and arrows or more complex creatures like actual monsters which are powerful enough to fight against gods. He's even created an entire planet from the darkness. Clint Mark was the stepbrother of Charles Xavier, the leader of the X-Men. He would get his powers after coming in contact with the Crimson Gen of Sidorus. This gives him incredible strength, speed, and durability. The Juggernaut is one of Marvel's top powerhouses. He's as strong, if not stronger, than some of the world's most powerful beings like Hulk and Thor. He's taking hits to the face from Thor, an optic blast from Cyclops, which is said to be strong enough to destroy a small planet, and survive Thor's most powerful attack, the God Blast. The Juggernaut has a more powerful version of himself, and it's called Trying Juggernaut. In this form, he increased his size and is a hundredfold stronger and more durable. He was able to punch through the menches with his bare fist. He's obtained the powers of Captain Universe and once transformed into Kurt the Breaker of Stone. He was created from the mind of both Professor Xavier and Magneto. In one of the many fights between the X-Men and Magneto, Professor Xavier would be pushed to the edge and he would finally put Magneto down with the full power of his telepathy. Onslaught has both Magneto and Professor Xavier's powers like telepathy, telekinesis, and magnetism manipulation. With his telepathy, he's been able to take control of the minds of both Hulk and Thor who are both said to be resistant to mind control. With his power of magnetism, he was able to create an EMP so strong it was felt around the world. Onslaught has other powers like teleportation, the ability to fly, and invisibility. He of course has super strength and durability. With his strength alone, he was able to send the Juggernaut flying across North America and he's taken punches from the Hulk. Amato Miyubachi is the god of chaos and evil in Japan. He's also an aspect of oblivion. 
After he defeated all the Japanese gods, he would move on to Olympus. What he wanted to accomplish by destroying Olympus and most other gods, specifically Zeus, was to show the other deities how powerful he was and to force them into submission. And to be fair, he is pretty powerful. His army is filled with enemies he's killed, like demons and samurais. He also has a couple of Greek gods in his armies, like Ares, Athena, and Zeus. He's defeated a lot of powerful gods, like Zeus, Mephisto, and Nightmare. After he defeated Nightmare, he acquired an ability which lets him go into the minds of humans, putting them into a coma-like state. It's been stated by both Hercules and Thor that the Chaos King is one of the biggest threats in the multiverse. He's beating God of Gods Hercules, who is so powerful that he teleported both Galactus and Eternity itself to Earth. It's been stated before that after he conquered the underworld, Death herself fled in fear. And it's been stated that before Hercules could stop him, the Chaos King destroyed 98% of the multiverse. He is the ruler of the Dark Dimension and is incredibly powerful when it comes to magic. He's been able to turn Hulk into Diamond without even speaking a spell and was able to remove Thor and Iron Man's powers just for amusement. He stated that he has enough magical power to make the universe shake. Dormammu has other powers besides magic like shape-shifting, time travel, and the ability to absorb the powers of others. His presence alone made Chura Gorod run in fear, and Chura Gorod is as powerful and as old as time itself. It's been stated by Doctor Strange that no amount of physical strength is enough to destroy him, and even with magic, it's still very hard to harm him. He's faced off against classic Doctor Strange, Eternity, and many of Earth's heroes. At his most powerful, he was able to reshape the universe in his own image. And finally, at our number one spot, we have Marvel's most powerful villain, Thanos. He is an Eternal who was born with the Deviant Gene. This made him look purple and be abnormally big. His natural powers were only increased with the Deviant Gene. His powers have only increased throughout the years, with several different methods like cybernetic implants and some mystical enhancements. Thanos is incredibly powerful. With his strength alone, he's been able to defeat the Silver Surfer, Captain Marvel, the Super Scroll, and Ronin the Accuser. With a single punch, he was able to send the Hulk flying for miles, and he was also able to draw blood from the in-betweener, a near omnipotent being. He's been able to push his son Tan through a planet, in the process destroying it. Just as amazing as strength is his durability, he survived blasts from Silver Surfer, Captain Marvel, and Odin. One of his more impressive feats of durability was when he was able to survive inside of a gas giant while it was exploding. Thanos has countless other powers such as telepathy, the ability to control matter, the ability to control energy, and flight. One of the more powerful versions of Thanos is King Thanos. Here he managed to defeat all of Earth's heroes and most of the omnipotent beings in the universe. That's gonna do it for my list and if I got anything wrong please tell me down in the comments below. And if you have your own list, also comment it down below. I'm really interested to see what your top 5 are or your top 10 are. And that's going to do it. I'll see you next week or next next week. Bye.